Hello everyone and welcome to the Bard Cave and another episode of Painting While Hasted, the time-lapse miniature painting series. Today I'll be using the WizKids Noz's Marvelous Miniatures Blights set. I have two sets of them and I'll be using the Army Painters Battlefield Basing set, Noz's Marvelous Pigments Adventurers paint set, the Underdark paint set and the Monster paint set. So let's get started. I'm using Albert Brown on the Twig Blights, and that's what I'm using as their base. The Twig Blights are a small plant, challenge rating 1 8th or 25 XP. They have false appearance, which means they're indistinguishable from dead shrubs if they don't move, and a claw attack, which is plus 3 to hit, and does 1d4 plus 1 piercing damage. They have an AC of 13, and only 4 hit points. So you can imagine they probably attack in large numbers to make up for the fact that they are quite small and possibly puny. So for the needle blights, I wanted I didn't want it to be brown like the twig blights and I didn't want it to be green like the vine blights. So I did a mixture of two parts brown to one part green, uh, bugbear brown and tree ant green to create this kind of swampy murky green. Uh, as a kind of midway point between the twig blights and the vine blights. The needle blights are a medium plant, uh, challenge rating one quarter or 50 XP. They have a claw attack and a ranged needle attack, which are plus three to hit. The claw attack is 2d4 plus one and the needles are 2d6 plus one. So now I'm going in on the vine blights with just the tree ant green. Uh, these are also a medium plant, and these are a half challenge rating, or 100 XP. Like the twig blights, they have false appearance, which means that they're indistinguishable from tangled vines if they remain motionless. And they have a constrict action, which is plus four to hit, and does 2d6 plus two bludgeoning damage. And it can grapple a creature if they don't make a DC 12 strength check to not be restrained. They also have an entangling action, um, where they can create difficult terrain that also restrain uh, PCs. So now I'm going in with a brown wash. I use the brown wash first on the twig blights and the needle blights. Um, although the twig blights are very, a very small figure, a very small miniature, there's still actually quite a lot of detail on them, of like overlapping bark and a lot of creases and cracks and stuff. So the wash really did make a difference in highlighting all of this and creating a lot of depth on such a small figure. So now I'm going in with the same brown wash on the needle blights. The needle blights have an AC of 12 and a hit points of 11, so slightly sturdier than the twig blights. Although they don't have a false appearance. I'm not sure why. I'm sure if you wanted them to be able to sneak up on your PCs, you could just homebrew that in. So for the Vine Blights, I wanted to use this Vallejo Green Wash. I applied it to both figures, but I found that it was quite close to the base colour anyway, so it wasn't creating the contrast that I was hoping for. So after it's dried, I go in with the brown wash, and I, I found that that actually made the contrasts uh, more to what I was hoping for. So now I'm just soaking up some of the pooled excess uh, with a, a dry brush to speed up the, the drying process. Uh, now I'm basing them using the, the small granule kind of gravel soil texture in the Army Painters Battlefield Basing sets, just to give it a, a very kind of natural wilderness uh, base. So 
So now I'm using this Otsuk Brown to catch the highlights on the needle blights and also the twig blights. So I'm just using the dry brush technique, um, taking a lot of the paint off onto a paper towel and then just lightly brushing over the, the raised parts of the miniatures. For the vine blights, I'm using zombie flesh. I liked that kind of green gray color to catch the highlights on this one. Now I'm using the static grass and now that the bases have dried I'm just applying some more super glue and then very lightly sprinkling uh, layer after layer of static grass to at least get a bit of lift without obviously the use of a static grass applicator. Now I'm using the larger wood chunks in the battlefield basing set as logs and fallen bark uh, just to add even more dimension to the bases. And I'm also applying these grass tufts as well. For the vine blights, I'm taking this like fake bush and ripping off a few strands to look more like vines popping up out the floor to represent the entangling plants action that the vine blights can take. And there we have it. Twig blights, needle blights, and vine blights. For such small kind of simple figures, I really like how the paint jobs come out. I think it's simple yet effective. So DMs, let me know about times you've thrown these at your PCs. And players, let me know about times you've had to overcome these blights in your games. Thanks for joining us again on another episode of Painting While Hasted, and we'll see you soon.